So I'm more newly single, right? I got questions. Back on the dating apps. Are men okay? Men in their like late twenties, early thirties, early forties, late thirties, like. Oh, Chris is an open book. Any questions? I just gotta ask. You mean I get to do all the work starting right now? Swiping right. Poor Keith, he can't see likes. So I have to message him? Oh, that poor lonely thing. Does anybody else find it incredibly difficult to have any kind of relationship after a narcissistic relationship? Because I was love bombed so freaking hard that the next person that comes along that doesn't shower me with that, like, submerge me in affection, like, it just doesn't feel like it's enough. Jason is 6'2", because clearly that matters to you ladies. Yeah, it does. Jason, you know us so well. Frank doesn't even know why he's on here anymore. He's tired of the fakes and the phonies and the ghosters. <sighs> oh, Frank, I'm gonna show you something real. Gentlemen, welcome back. Women dating over 30 are... Back on the menu, boy! <laughs> and oh my, oh my, what do we have today, gentlemen? We have so many women to cover. All of them are absolutely off of reality. They don't know what's going on. And th there's a lot to be said. And there are a lot of laughs incoming, guys, I can tell you. So let's start with this one that is really shocked and really surprised. Uh, le let's see what is keeping her so confused newly single right i got questions back on the dating apps yeah okay we're gonna stop right here two seconds into the video you are in your 30s and you are back to being single which is a never-ending process i can tell you and you are back on the dating apps it's pathetic guys we are in our 30s, all right? So by now, you should already be in a committed relationship or really close to it, like really close. I'm talking one year separating you from marriage to then have kids in, in, you know, in your normal years and not wait for the last moment to rush in and uh, I need a man real fast because I want kids. You know, you're in that period and you are still on and off and on and off of dating and relationships, situationships, dating apps, right? But guys, you hear those two sentences and you're like, okay, pass, next. You know, I'm not committing to that woman, not giving her my time. Because what she's been doing is she's been riding the carousel up until now. And she still is. And she forever will. Until, of course, uh, her looks fade. And she, you know, and no one commits to her. And we have the septum piercing, of course. Uh, you know, the piercings here in the in the ears. I, I don't know if that is a, t a tattoo right here on her neck. Anyway, gentlemen, you, you don't even need the tattoo and piercing red flags to know that this woman is an absolutely clinically insane person who, you know, who, who can't secure a man even if you give her a million dollars. Are men okay? Men in their, like, late 20s, early 30s early 40s late 30s like dramatic pose we do know that we can go buy a hairbrush right ah a hairbrush you know I, I maybe i was too harsh with this woman guys because i didn't think about the possibility that the reason why she is single and has been single for 30 years is because men in her area d just don't use a hairbrush, you know? And I didn't think about that, but honestly, now the whole picture makes sense. You know, the puzzle has worked out. Uh, yeah, guys, please use toothbrushes uh, because, hey, it, you know, you, you got to do it, right? I know that statistically speaking, 98% of men don't use toothbrushes, but you got to do if you want to secure the kind of lovely woman that they, you know, like this one. We can go to a hairdresser. You know that? Mm. 
I actually didn't. I'm so glad you clarified that for me. I didn't know that I can go to a hairdresser. And guys, I mean, how can you blame this woman for being single at 30? If I was a woman and nobody in my country went to a hairdresser or knew how to use, use a toothbrush, I will be single too. So absolutely relate to these women's problems. I uh, haven't faced them, honestly, but uh, I can see that this is a problem that women on a general level face. We put on, like, face moisturizer, take care of ourselves. Like, you got potentially a whole other half of your life that you need to take care of that body. Taking care of your body certainly hasn't taken you anywhere, am I right? I mean, you can put all that moisturizer on that face or other substances for that matter. <laughs> that I'm sure that are dropping quite often on your face. You, it's still, nothing will take you anywhere. You know what I mean, madam? You can take care of your looks. I see that you chose the worst piercing of them all. Uh, don't agree with that decision, but I see you dye your hair to not look old, and, you know, to reveal the uh, white hairs, and you just, you know, make your eyebrows and everything. It's not really helping you with securing a man, am I right? I mean, if it's helping anything at all, it's maybe getting more hookups even though that is never a problem to begin with for women. So what has it done for you? Hey guys, I wanted to talk today about something called hardballing because it's actually a method of dating that I used, but now it's like this official thing that's talked about in the news. I wanted to talk about it. What is hardballing? So it's basically this dating strategy that apparently will scare suitors off, but low key, I did that and landed myself this man's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. So the concept of hardballing is basically when upfront, when you start dating first date, you're like, I want to be married, have kids. This is my life trajectory. And is this something you want? Is this not something you want? That's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, damn. Uh, did you need a wall general to come up with that strategy? <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm familiar with that strategy, okay? It's what women used to do for, I don't know, the uh, whole humanity up until last century or so, even less. Yeah, it's what women did. They just, you know, they weren't three or fours and they just were upfront about what they want. I want a family. I want kids in the future, right? No, not to sound like a psycho, like impregnate me right now. But yeah, they just knew what they wanted and what they wanted was... To form a family and what they wanted you know who they wanted in order to do that is a serious man who can you know take them up on that bet or well, not bet but you know take them up on that offer plan whatever to have a serious family and this is what they did and you know there was a courtship period where women get, uh, you know a woman gets no man a man gets no woman they only date each other important uh you know, write that down, ladies. It, it doesn't work if you're dating multiple men at a time. You know, and if everything w worked well, they married. And, you know, if people have been doing that for millennia because it works. What we have right now is women who spread their legs on the first date. They chase the commitment. Uh, yeah, the commitment. Geez, what am I saying? Uh, they chase the validation and the, atten uh, the attention, you know. They don't chase the commitment. They don't chase forming a family. And then we end up like the first uh, woman, you know, 30 and single and talking about toothbrushes, right? So th this is not something brand new. You didn't come with this on your own. I, I wouldn't call it even a strategy. It's how life used to work, you know. Uh, but nowadays, apparently, guys, it's a strategy. It's like this thing that you come up with like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hack life. I'm going to do this little trick that is going to secure me the commitment. A couple of my friends sent me this because like low-key they knew that's exactly what I did when I started dating and it wasn't the most popular way of dating. Some guys would be like, oh my god, she's so desperate. Oh my god, she says she want to get married or she wants kids and it would scare them off as this article discussed. But the article actually talks about the fact that this is a more effective way of dating, being upfront about what you want and if that's not what someone else wants, all good. You will now free up your time for somebody who wants what you want. Like, I want a marriage of kids. And then, so did he. <laughs> he probably hates me so much for this. Anyways. He should. I mean, I don't know what the hell 
is he doing there just sitting while you're being a psycho on TikTok and talking about how hey, I secure this man by being, uh, you know, changing my strategy from being a 304 and dating multiple guys to doing this little bullcrap. I don't know what he's doing there, guys. If I was there and like a camera showed my face, I'll be so embarrassed to be on TikTok. I'll be like, leave that or I'm burning this, this phone down, you know? Guys, this must be her brother, and she told him, like, hey, can you please appear on TikTok? I must sound successful for a moment. I know that, you know, my dating life has been all ruined, but I just need to make this TikTok where I sound like I know what I'm doing. So my bet is that he is her brother, gentlemen, or a friend or something. But the whole point of hardballing is that right off the bat, you are able to be more efficient with your dating. You can screen out the people that don't want what you want. And it even talks about in this article that you could literally put it in your Hinge profile, in your Bumble profile, be like, I'm looking for something serious. I'm looking for something casual. And that way you find out really quickly, are you aligned or not aligned? I love this method. What do other people do? And I'm so curious now that I've like completely locked down, what's up? Notice how she's so proud, gentlemen. She's so proud <laughs> that at age 30, she managed to take the last train of commitment and not miss out and be single forever, you know? She's just so happy you can see her, gentlemen. She's just crying tears of joy right here. Uh, because like, the reason I say all of this is because this woman has appeared on the channel uh, quite a few times, and I can tell you guys, her dating life is absolute <laughs> garbage. <laughs> So she was able to secure a simp in the last minute uh, and she was able to be saved from, you know, uh, passing away alone. But guys, this, this whole strategy, you know, what can I tell you? Uh, well, what do you think about this strategy? I don't know. I think that it, first off, it's not a strategy. It's how things ought to be. Uh, second, all the, the, the fact that there are women out there who are like, holy crap, how did I think about that? It just shows to what point you know, we've become dating degenerates and, you know, relationship degenerates that following the norm and following, you know, what should happen is like a brand new discovery for some people, uh, for some reason. So I just left a restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up, and apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just, I'm just looking for my person. Guys, I'm All right, guys, before this lovely lady gives us her opinion, I'm going to turn the gameplay on. Uh, because I'm gonna comment on this guy a little, and this, sorry guys, you've already seen this recording, but I didn't prepare one, uh, because I didn't expect to see this, right, but th this is the problem with, uh, men who are not red-pilled or, you know, part of the manosphere, like, th this is how, alright, this is how people who are red-pilled are, you know, let's say, born, because all guys started like this, yeah, like, you, you don't see 10-year-old kids being like, oh, I'm not going to date women, it's not worth it. No, we all start with the same education. We all start with the same uh, cultural, you know, expectations. And we all want what this guy wants. Or, you know, oh, I have to be polite uh, in order for women to notice me. I have to be a gentleman. Uh, I have to be, you know, really modest and think about them. You know, they have to be uh, my pri priority. And... You know, guys act like gentlemen, they pay for dates, they buy flowers, they, uh, you know, try to show a woman that they really care about her, texting her long messages of, oh, I love you, queen, uh, you are so important to me, etc. Because essentially they want this, they want to have kids, they want to have a family, uh, they want to give love and affection to the other person and to receive it back, uh, and they want to teach their sons uh, the same way. Because, you know, probably... This is how it's worked in the past. When women, again, those women who want a serious family and a serious relationship, they actually uh, value those things. Yeah, they do, guys, I swear. Maybe you've never seen one of those women, but they do, right? The, the woman who focuses on having a family. Um, but this guy is just going to find out that 
he has spent all this money to buy flowers and you know he was ready to pay the date etc he's dressed up uh he's really looking for something and he's gonna find out that the woman that he's been texting to has a roster of six other men that she's dating and even if they got to date right even if she appeared uh she will just take the free meal and then go and probably not even give him a kiss like don't even care at all i'm uh, gonna forget to text him later you know she's gonna be entertained by some other chat like this is the case jordan this is the scenario the guy is not uh really attractive i can say i mean he's average i wouldn't call him ugly or something he could work on his looks but i wouldn't say he's ugly He's just a random, normal, average guy. You know, he's your average Joe. I, th that's who I would call your average Joe. And they just... Guys, men just don't have any power in dating. No, any. Zero. You know, you can work on your looks. You can, uh, I don't know, buy flowers. Do all the things that he's done. Trying to be a gentleman. And he's just not going to take you anywhere. Because women, guys, who are this age... Like, you see, even at 30. Even close to 40. Guys, they are still riding the carousel. They are still uh, dating multiple men, seeing them as wallets, seeing them as clowns here to entertain them, um, seeing them as just, you know, well, I'm going to date this guy on Tuesday, I'm going to date this other one on Thursday. Uh, damn it, for Wednesday, I don't have anyone scheduled, so I guess I'm going to give that simp uh, who's been following me for two years on my DMs. You know, I'm going to give him a chance because either, either way, I'm going to be bored. And that's it. And most women, sadly, are like this. Now, depending on the country you're on, but for the most part, you know, especially in um, Eastern Europe, uh, excuse me, Western Europe and uh, the West, USA, you know, Canada, all of those countries, uh, Australia also, they are like this. Like women, like, for the most part, are like this. And the good women, who are few in numbers, are immediately taken. Right? They're immediately taken, guys. This is why you should feel absolutely no sympathy for women who are not able to find a man. Because if they were good, traditional women that wanted a family, they would be immediately taken. They have multiple, you know, uh, people interested in them. So, it's just, I'm sorry for this guy. Uh, but, uh, like, the blame is also on him. Man, you are, I know, he was in his 30s, and you still don't know how the dating world works. But uh, still, guys, I just feel sorry for him because probably this is his third date. You know what I'm talking about? Probably this is his third, fourth date, right? It's not like women, guys, who by age 20 already have a body count of like 42 dudes. Uh, we're talking about guys. They don't have the same number of opportunities. And it's just that the whole system is rigged. Uh, the whole game is is, you know meant for you to lose as i am losing right here i've only got eight uh, 19 hp now healing little but it's like this game you know you'll die eventually you, you'll not make it in the dating game as a man you, you can wait you can try have many dates uh you know try to use different strategies but the only thing that women want the only way to turn their attention towards you is to if you are attractive have a hookup that's it you don't even have the option, if you're attractive, to date one of those modern independent boss babes. Because the moment you commit, uh, they're going to lose respect for you, right? Because then, you know, there, there wouldn't be butterflies, it wouldn't be toxic. So, <laughs> I tell you guys, even if Char commits, he, he would lose his status of being a Char. So, the question is, what can you do as a man? You know, what is the answer to all of this? Well, for me personally, guys, and I'm going to be happy to read your opinions in the comments. But for me, the only answer is, if, if you want a girlfriend or, you know, serious relationship, just wait, you know, work on yourself. No, no, not necessarily for her, for you as well. Uh, but work on yourself and, you know, just wait for a woman who is not clinically insane, who doesn't have a triple digit body count, uh, who, who hasn't been dating around, who will not see you as a wallet, who will respect you. Yeah, wait for that woman to appear. <laughs> and as I say that, guys, I'm sure most of you are laughing like, "Hey, don't have you lost your mind? That's not going to happen." Uh, it's the only thing you can do nowadays as a guy, and, and this is why a lot of men have straight up given up, right? They, they've just given up. They, I don't want to wait that long. I don't want to be paying other women for dates 
uh, when they're just going to use me for my time and my money, you know. And I would say, guys, being alone is not the best, but it's certainly a lesser evil than being like this guy we just saw, who is losing his money, losing his time, losing his sanity, dating women who never cared about him in the slightest, in the, in the first place at all. And it's guys like these that get stood up twice and say, you know, wait a minute, I've been told my whole life that if I'm a gentleman and I treat women with respect, they're going to value that. You know, that's what my grandma told me. That's what my teachers tell me. That's what my friends expect of me. Uh, but I don't think it works that way. And it certainly doesn't. But guys, just on a last note about this guy, this is the reason I don't feel sympathy for women and I do for men. Because men don't have options to choose from, while women do, alright? Women always have available men at their disposal. They just don't date them. They just don't want them. No matter how much they say, where have all the good men gone? They've been there all the time. They just don't care. And following the logic of the first woman we saw, the one talking about the toothbrush, um, this guy uses a toothbrush. This guy goes to the hairdresser. This guy is wearing his best t-shirt, you know. He's bought flowers. He's made his beard. Uh, he, you know, is trying to show his A-game. So, following your logic, madam, why isn't he getting women? Of course, because your logic is crap. Men, uh, excuse me, women do not care about your A-game. They don't care about the shirts you wear. They don't care about hairbrushes, uh, excuse me, about hairdressers and toothbrushes and whatever, guys. They really don't care, no matter how much they talk about it. They don't care. If you're attractive, you can do anything. If you're not attractive, go to hell. That is the bottom line. Now, after this long run, gentlemen, leave me your thoughts in the comments. And let's continue with the video. This one is going to be a long one. So I hope you're having a good time and hope you're being entertained. Now, let's get back to it. I'm not gonna lie, I saw that video and I genuinely felt bad for that guy because I feel like no one deserves to be stood up, like, especially, like, it's the first date. I feel like the girl, even if she wasn't interested, she could have cancelled the date and not have him go there and wait on his own. And, like, I feel like we always go on about guys that, um treat girls badly or do this do that we're constantly talking about them but there's actually good guys out there that get done dirty as well and like he was saying he was putting in the work two weeks getting to know what she likes he planned the date he picked the restaurant he did everything he was supposed to do and i feel like sometimes us girls like even if you're not interested just let the guy know like don't waste your time don't waste his time honestly uh you know the woman feels pity for him yet she would never date him right I tell you guys, she would never give him a chance. And, you know, I can understand a lot of women will say he's not as beautiful as me, which I totally understand. There are leagues in dating. Uh, beautiful people go for beautiful people and not so attractive people go for not so attractive people. It's how it works. And I understand that. But uh, first off, it's not be only because of his looks. I can tell you there are men who are way more attractive than him and they're still not getting anything. Right? They're still not getting into dating. So it's not only the looks, guys. It's just the... Nowadays, women don't value your time. They don't value commitment. They don't value uh, you know, all those things that are deemed traditional about men. Why? Because they have, they have them in, on excess. In excess, excuse me. Any woman nowadays, guys, can get commitment from 40 men. So it's not valuable. It's something they could have with a lot of men. And they, they don't care. Well, what they want is the unaccessible men. You know, the men who are uh, top 5 percentage. The ones who are hard. You see all the women, guys. They're chasing uh, the same men. It's one man is chased by 400 women. And then you have 399 guys that don't get anything. Because women don't value important things. I, I don't say you should date anyone as a woman. I'm just saying you, you should value things that are more important than just playing a little silly stupid game of oh, let me get that one man uh, that doesn't uh, want me back. Oh, Chris is an open book. Any questions I just got to ask? You mean I get to do all the work starting right now? Swaving right. Poor Keith, he can't see likes. 
So I have to message him? Oh, that poor lonely thing. Jason is 6'2", because clearly that matters to you ladies. Yeah, it does. Jason, you know us so well. Frank doesn't even know why he's on here anymore. He's tired of the fakes and the phonies and the ghosters. Oh, Frank, I'm gonna show you something real. Greg's kind of cute. His photos are a little pixelated and it looks like those clothes are from the 90s, but I'm sure these pictures are brand new. Let's see here. Jake is not posting his picture because he's a professional. You poor thing. I bet you're adorable. Swipe right. Oh, Brian's kind of cute. He's tired of the bullshit and the, oh wait, tired of the bullshit and the drama. Me too, Brian. I couldn't have said it better, except I could have spelled it better. Ooh, hey there, Marcus. You got a car and a job? Wow. Oh. And your own place, too? Oh my God, Marcus has his own teeth. I've hit the jackpot. Shut up! All right, so this woman ends here, guys. You can uh, be happy about it. We're not going to see her again ever, I hope. Now, the thing is, guys, this woman suffers from the same problem as the first one. They try to lie to us uh, with this bullcrap of, yeah, I'm single because, you know, guys uh, can't spell properly or they, they don't go to the hairdresser often enough or, or I don't like their picture or, you know, they, they don't dress the way I want. All of these guys don't buy into it. Don't listen to women. They will never tell you the truth about dating. Uh, a 4,000-year-old mommy will tell you better. And the thing is, you can do all those things if you're attractive and it will work, right? If you're this average Joe that we saw on the last TikTok, it's not going to work, right? If, if you're the average Joe woman, will tell, uh, he's just not my type. Uh, we, we're just not meant for each other. He's not my kind of person. Every kind of nonsense under the sun, they will tell you. But if you happen to be attractive, guys, if you happen to be that a quality man that they want, you, you don't need to go to the hairdresser. You know, if you have good jeans, if you have a good body, they probably wouldn't even care uh, if you are wearing a wig or, or you're bald or whatever. You, you can be mean to them, right? You, you can be obscene with them. You can have one uh, picture from five years ago. Uh, you can do everything you want. You have a free pass on women. So this woman right here that is, I don't know, in her 40s, I think, she's, you know, like trying to play it off as, look, look why I'm single, guys. It's just all of you don't put in any effort. Liar! And meanwhile, guys, this woman, during her life, has had plenty of the average Joes uh, on her DMs, you know, trying to be gentlemen, trying to date her, trying to commit to her. Yet she's ruled them all out because of nonsense like the one she's talking right now. And she's chasing the guys who, who don't have, you know, a, a, any sort of attraction to her. And no will to commit to her. Uh, but they are just attractive. That is why you fail. So, you know, this is the, the curse of men today. Uh, this is why the black pill exists, even though I don't uh, subscribe to it, you know, ideologically. But... This is sort of the argument that the Red Pill also shares that the, the game of dating is all about looks and all about uh, if, you know, women want you in the first place. They assess if they want you in the first second and little does it matter what you do. Does anybody else find it incredibly difficult to have any kind of relationship after a narcissistic relationship because... I was love bombed so freaking hard that the next person that comes along that doesn't shower me with that, like submerge me in affection, like it just doesn't feel like it's enough. But when, you know, like love bombing, you think it's great and then it's not real. So whenever anything normal comes along, it's like, it, it feels half-ass. I don't, I don't know how to go slow. Like, I feel that if I meet somebody, they should immediately shower me with affection. And I'm gonna end up dating another freaking narcissist. And then, if, and then I get scared because it's like, if they're all showering me, it's like, oh, red flag, red flag.
I'm not gonna close the video, guys, with a single mom. <laughs> Let's just throw in a single mother for, you know, color. We have everything on this video, guys. Women over 30, 40. I'm guessing some some might be divorced, like, like this one. It also happens to be a single mother. We have everything, guys. Uh, a salad of women who don't know how to date. And this one, guys, she has the same problem, actually, as the last one. You know, she, she will tell you that, uh, I'm addicted to people love bombing me, showing me affection, and when they don't do it, it just doesn't feel right. Uh, are we really that, you know, stupid to think that no man exists that showers you and love bombs you, just the chats, just the unavailable man? Don't tell me you're innocent. Because it insults my intelligence. No, no, guys, no. She has, along, you know, along her life, she has had many guys love bombing her showing her affection willing to commit to her okay statistically that is what happens women have so many options I'm, I'm not making it up i don't know the exact numbers but i can tell you like women way below your average joe receive way more attention than even some attractive men and there are men who have again love bombed her and showed her affection you know bought her flowers etc she just doesn't care about them she doesn't see them as options guys she like women, the, the men who, the, most women anyway, the, the men who they deem uh, unattractive, they don't even see them as people. They see them like a wallet or a free meal or uh, an entertainer if I happen to be, be uh, you know, uh, bo bored. You know, they, they don't see them as people who they can have a relationship with. The only, you know, the only person, the only sort of people that these eyes see are guys who are out of her league and guys who are unavailable and toxic ones brian do women like it when you treat them like crap well i, I don't know if you want to be that black and white about it that's it isn't it and this is probably how uh, she managed to be a single mother so we'll close the video right there guys you know ampu just 30 minutes back was going around minding his business you know being happy and then i made him watch this video and now he's dead guys so <laughs> I hope this video didn't have the same effect on you. Uh, these videos are hard, honestly. They are quite disturbing. Uh, but at least, guys, they are entertaining, for me at least. Uh, they are quite educational because, again, I just feel so sorry for men like uh, this one that we saw in this video that literally doesn't know what's going on. Now, yes, uh, he is naive. Maybe he is a little stupid, you could say. Uh, you are in your 30s and you still don't know how women walk. It's a little embarrassing, but... In the end, guys, he falls victim to this cruel society uh, that the, that has appeared sort of magically, you know, in, in the span of 50 years. We went from women who were quite decent in regards to dating to, to women who are in their 40s and they're swiping right on, on 300 men a day. You know what I'm talking about, guys? Feel no sympathy for these women. You can see even the 40-year-old ones below average looking uh you know toxic and un unpleasant ones swipe right on 400 dudes on a daily basis i'm telling you guys there, there there is no accountability that these women have there are no redeeming factors none nothing you know for most women and it, they are the ones ruining dating men have their their deal i'm sure it's not a one side thing i'm sure that men you know also have their things uh, but when you take a look at the wider picture, women are to blame. I don't say that to cope. I don't say that to get rid of accountability. I don't say that to, uh, you know, yeah, they have to change. I'm not going to do anything. No, but it's true that for the most part, they are the ones ruining dating. They are the ones with the high standards. Uh, we see uh, uh, the, the first TikTok, right? If you recall, the woman with the piercing, she was a, 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 a town bicycle. And she has standards for men. Like, make it make sense, gentlemen. But this woman, the first woman, if she was in, in the you know, 18th century, she would be begging on her knees, please commit to me. I know that I'm a miserable three or four, but please give me the commitment. I'll clean and cook and F you anytime you like because I, I know I don't deserve anything you know, by society standards. So please, if you will commit to me, I will do anything. This is what she should be doing. Uh, but instead, because she has so many options, uh, she has the audacity to be expecting more from men. How dare you?
you know, keep increasing her standards even though her value is below zero. And this is probably the theme that you've seen all throughout the video. But guys, I'm going to shut up finally. Uh, thank you if you've made it till the end. 32 minutes, long time uh, since I haven't done one video that long. Leave me your comments down below, guys, and I'll be really happy to see you next time. Have a good one.